Ladies and gentlemen, very good evening and welcome to another flight vlog. Today will be something different. Today we'll be flying through Hurricane Laura, precisely over here, I believe. Oh, my last video is actually going to take off from here, so it's, it's good I cancelled that video. Okay, so here's the hurricane. So we'll load up in... Is, is that an airport? No, that's a city. Okay. Um, we'll load up in Armstrong New Orleans International, select uh, seller's departure. Okay, and we'll load up with the TBM 930. This is the first time I'm flying the TBM 930 in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and first time I'm flying in America and also first time I'm going through a hurricane. So let's see how this goes. Apparently the flight conditions are like that, but yeah, we all know that's not going to last long until once I get into that mess. But yeah, I believe this is Hurricane Laura. So yes, let's see how this goes. Take the TBM, ATC, uh, weight and balance. I'll just give it 60%. Uh, let's do 65 actually. 65%. Okay. And our time. Uh, is it daylight? No. Let's see. Preset. Live weather. Yeah, okay. That's daytime. Okay. So let's go flying so our mission today is to actually find the eye of the hurricane um, so first mission is to locate it second mission is to attempt to take this TBM into it and third mission is to make it back alive so let's see I hope we can get at least the second mission I mean third mission yeah we've seen it seen it done that so yeah, we don't care about the third one. But yes, the second one, let us try enter the eye of the hurricane. So I was, I was going to use the Cessna 172 initially, but I realized it is going to take us ages and ages to get to the center. And we probably might not make it. Um, so that's because of the maximum ratings on the Cessna in terms of like turbulence and all that. So let's see how uh, this works out. And there you have it, Arms from New Orleans International. As you can see, this weather is quite bad. So let's go ahead and click ready to fly. Okay, I'm just going to change my position uh, to an upper position like that. Okay, now I've never used it before, so I'm not too sure how to show weather. So let's see. Well, what can we do here? MF, MFT, yeah, weather. And let's, where's the range in this thing? Is that range? No, oh, where's range? Uh, where's the range? Um, how about I go back to MFT, uh, PFT, uh, no, uh, MFT, yeah, map, weather, PFT. Where is the range? Okay, maybe this is range, no. Okay, how do I change the range, guys? Uh, let's see. Uh, um, PFD, flight plan. No. Ah, range. Okay, well, that's sad. It looks like we don't have a hurricane. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Reset camera position, cockpit, like this. And release the parking brake. Flaps up, I'll do a flapless takeoff because we have quite a bit of runway. And advanced throttle to full power. And let's go. I'm just going to head straight and hopefully we will get to 
Oh, but this is quite depressing because I knew when I played the sim yesterday, I, f I saw the hurricane. I saw it on the map. So I'm quite disappointed by the fact that I, it's not there. Um, I mean, obviously, safety of people is priority, but still, I'd have loved to see the hurricane. But anyway, let's see what happens. Put the gear up, and we'll just maintain on our heading for now. There's a bit of turbulence, actually. Okay, so I'll just continue heading this direction and see how far we can get until we get to some sort of really bad weather. So, if we don't get a hurricane here, we're going to go chasing hurricanes. We're going to go back to the map and see where we can find a hurricane. Until we're not going to end this vlog until we fly through a hurricane. So, and the one good thing about the TBM is it's really fast. Oh my ITT. As you can see there is a bit of blue sky. So, let's see. Since we have the G3000 on board, correct, uh, I am not 100% sure it's the G3000, but still, since we have it, I'm going to go straight through these clouds. If I was flying a 152, this would not be the day to fly. We will be flying over New Orleans, so that's pretty good, but we probably won't see anything because I'm going straight into these clouds. So, what I can do is I can just engage autopilot. And like heading, I'll synchronize currently and then on the heading mode, and then vertical speed. We'll do a vertical speed of 1200 and we'll reduce power actually. We don't, we're not in a rush today, anyway. But let's see what else we can do. So, yeah. I mean, the only serious weather seems to be in this region over here. So, let's see. Um, and what one is that? Your damper is off. So, where's my your damper? Is it somewhere up here? Lights on, nah, no need landing lights on, still uh, start the ignition auxiliary. I, pff, I'm not too sure exactly where my yard lamp is, but uh, okay, inertial separator will still keep it on. Um, let's see, okay, so this weather is quite drastic. As you can see, there's we're above the first layer, so just increase my vertical speed. Let's view externally as well and see what the conditions are like. Wow. I must say, Microsoft Flights in 2020 have done a great job, the developers, with the clouds. And volumetric clouds especially, because this is something I feel that Flight Sim was lacking. Some sort of realistic weather and bang is here what exactly what we've got. So I'm quite pleased with this. Um, except for the fact that it's really, really demanding the most out of my laptop. Anyone wondering what I'm running currently? I have a NVIDIA GTX 1060 with I believe 6 GB of GDDR5 RAM with the Core i7 8th generation and 32 GB of DDR4 RAM. So yeah, if anyone was wondering, those are my specs. So now I want to see, I don't know if I should go in drone mode and kind of look for this hurricane or an indication that there's a hurricane. Um, quite a few blue skies, quite clear actually on that side, even that is a bit clear. I'm not too sure on that side, but straight ahead is looking good. Yeah, let's go back to the cockpit and see what the weather radar says. Yeah, the weather radar gives us all red, that's pretty cool. 
so yeah let's see Let, let's move into this region and if we don't find anything we're gonna keep looking because I know there's a hurricane right now happening in this world which I'm gonna fly into <coughs> so yeah let's see external view let's see I'm pretty sure that icing conditions exist in such weather so I'm just gonna confirm if my anti-ice and everything is on um, what's the outside air temperature 14 not bad I'll just switch on the ice light just in case and I'm just gonna switch my anti-ice on just because my DI sorry just because yeah I don't want anything to happen okay so I'll wait till we get to somewhere here and if we don't find anything ladies and gentlemen I'm just going to switch to another location of this around this world and fly to the hurricane So it looks like there's something, there's terrible weather over here, but as you can see the rest of the sky on that side looks pretty clear. And so it looks the same as well on our right hand side, just a bit of weather activity over here. But yeah, as you can see we are now above the clouds. I've just decided to settle down at 7,900, 8,000 feet basically. Um, just because I don't want to get too high. I want to kind of stay in the middle of these two layers and enjoy the view. But yeah, let's get the VFR map up and see if there are any other... Uh, this doesn't show up then, it doesn't actually, okay. So yeah, we are heading off the coast now, kind of in this area. So... Yeah, let's see what happens when we get over some water. There's any difference in weather. As you can see, the ice light is on. So clearly we don't have any ice at the moment. But, uh, yeah, I mean, because we've leveled off now and the outside air temperature, I believe, is not too cold. It is 13 degrees only. That's not too bad. Um, well, obviously, for someone from Kenya, that's quite low. That's quite cold. So, yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's keep flying and let's see what happens. I mean, I could go low, but I don't think the hurricane eye, or if there's any hurricane, I'd see anything in clouds. So I'd rather be on top of this layer so I can have a... Uh, bird's eye view in a way of the eye if we do see it so yeah guys this is the TBM 930 default aircraft this comes with the standard edition of Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and I must say I'm quite impressed it flies pretty well and very fast obviously which is beneficial but coming from flying hot starts uh, TBM 9, uh, 900 in X-Plane <coughs> that that's an aircraft on our level. I I don't think it's fair to compare that and this because this is default aircraft, and that aircraft has a price tag of about seventy dollars. So yeah, but for a default aircraft, they have done a good job on this. In fact, all the default aircraft in the simulator are not bad at all. Um, I quite like the Caravan EX. I fly that quite often. Um, the X Cub is quite cool. Super Cub is also not bad. Um, but once you're used to flying with automation, the G1000, the G500 or even the G3000, you just don't want to fly it default six pack. Like, I would fly the uh, 152 for a good cross country flight, like a VFR, short, short flight. But when it comes to like a flight of more than 20 minutes or so, I honestly just love the feeling when I just click autopilot and it just follows. And the only thing I need to do is plan my descent and land the plane safely without killing anyone or without damaging my aircraft which is a pretty easy task so yeah guys I don't think there's any hurricane here currently I mean I saw it yesterday on the weather map when I was flying but uh, I think we're out of luck so what we're gonna do is hit that escape uh, go to the main menu continue and let's go look for a hurricane let's see where this flight takes us so we've moved from america texas region let's see where is next okay 
world map. Let's zoom out. Um, we do have some weather over here, some weather there, but I'm not too interested in flying, mm. just ice. So what's happening here? I think something could be happening over here. Um, okay, that's a potential place, Miami area. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Kenya, African side. I doubt there's anything, but let's, there's no harm in checking. Check this side. Yeah, there's quite severe weather over China. Nepal as well. If you guys haven't watched my uh, some of some video landing in Nepal, I will leave the link in the top right hand corner. So please make sure you go check that out and do check out my other videos as well. So, okay guys, I don't know. I don't think we're in luck to find, let's see. What if I type in your hurry? I don't even know how to spell it. Anyway, let's go back, uh, push it more light on that side. Uh, flight conditions, just continue doing that. Okay, so let's, let's see. Um, what's happening here? Yeah, okay. I have a f okay, let's let's take off from Homestead General Aviation. We'll do departure from there. Aha! It's rainy. Let's hope it's a hurricane. Okay. And let's fly. Let's see what happens now. Hopefully we will be in luck, ladies and gentlemen. I hope we are. If not, We'll look for another one, and if we don't find that, unfortunately, our hurricane hunting skills need to be worked on. So, yeah. And just a reminder guys, if you are watching this video, please remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post more content like this. And hello, look at that weather, completely zero visibility almost, at 3.69 nautical miles, very low visibility, rainy weather, what more can you ask for? I do smell a hurricane around here. Let's click ready to fly. Okay, I know I've been here, so I don't know how long this runway is, but as you can see, we do have people uh, in the airspace with me. What is that warning? What is that? Okay, parking brake. I understand. I've not done anything to prompt that warning. Okay, calm down. Yeah, what? what? Okay, Latibian just decides to talk to me. But anyway upper position let's get ready to go parking brake off flaps are actually yeah flaps up so let's actually wait uh, mft let's go weather and let's zoom out ah there we go look at that pearl pink that pink is the best thing i've seen today evening so let's go full power and let's get out of here i'm just gonna look a bit synchronize my room ahead into that and okay so guys seem to be flying descending 17,000 either they're chasing something like me or they've done like an IFR flight or something um, I never think the DAC to be well high oh that's the end oh god take off take off oh glad we've taken off okay I love the rain effect on the windshield it is so beautiful I love this weather really pleased with this Oh, there's another pilot there. Oh my days, this airspace is quite packed. It must be the hurricane. We're all storm chasers in this. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna engage autopilot. Heading, oh, oh hey, heading mode. And I'm gonna engage vertical speed. No, no, no. I hate it when that happens. Where's the, where's the knob? Yeah, we're gonna do like 2,000 feet a minute. Climb like the jets. 
because we are a jet actually by turboprop but similar so i'm basically going to head directly to that that is my plan if we do see the eye of a hurricane that's going to be good oh let me just reduce my power a bit because don't want to get the engine caught on fire this is quite cool i actually quite like this panel um with the tbm uh touch screen. It's, it's quite I think it's quite innovative of TVM. So let's go out to external view. So yeah, 1,000 feet, 17,000, 13,000, 4,000. Ah, two as well behind me. Oh wow, 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 wow. This is a big group flying today. Let's go to our VFR map. Oh, I like this. Yeah, so many aircraft in the vicinity. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at that weather. This weather is what we've been looking for. I do hope we can find the eye of this storm. Hurricane. Hopefully it's a hurricane. I mean, I, uh, I do hope all residents currently in America, in these regions, are keeping safe. And I do hope that um, the storm passes by quickly and causes as... Uh, as little destruction as possible but when when flights it we want to go to the storm oh i like this i love the clouds the clouds just fascinate me i just love them like flying through them is so it's such an immersive experience because they you know that it's like they're there you know it's like you're actually flying I mean, obviously you guys have seen pictures of like guys taking a selfie with flight sim in the background and people think, wow, is that really real? I mean, it's that realistic, the weather looks that good. So, hats off to Microsoft team. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Wow, I like this. So what we're gonna do is, I am going to divert to the left. Let's go left, let's go left. Uh, heading, heading, heading. We're gonna ah, stop it. I hate it when it zooms. Like I just don't like that. Oh come on! Yes, head right towards that storm. The pink is what we're chasing, guys. The pink is what we're chasing. I'm currently at six thousand. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna level off probably at like seven thousand or so. So let's see how successful we are in chasing a storm today. Or the eye of the hurricane. 7,000. Let's go vertical speed again. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, it's going to 7,000. No problem. Okay. And external view. Look at that weather, ladies and gentlemen. What is not to love about this? This is beautiful. I mean, even if I didn't show you the eye of a hurricane today, I believe it's all worth it to see the weather in this. I actually am so amazed. Ah, there's a plane up there, little green nav lights flashing. Uh, two eight over there. A C two five C. I'm not too exactly sure what that is. A 152. I wonder how he's coping. I don't know if he's airborne. He seems. If he's airborne, he seems to be a very good pilot in maintaining straight and level. Because that is some skill. But yeah, where is the eye? Let's go into the cockpit and let's see if we can get close enough. How far are we? Oh, we're still pretty far, still some distance. But that's basically what I'm heading for. Let's alter my heading a bit to the right. Yeah, all my passengers are doing well. That's good. I mean, I'm sure this is not what they paid for. But, hey, if you pay for a charter or something and you get a flight through a hurricane. I count that as a good deal. So let's see. 
Let's see if we can catch up to this guy in the 152. I'm sure we can. We're flying at 242 in the indicated. Uh, let's see if we can. I get the winds? Uh, PFT. Okay, that. Can I click that? No. Okay, how does this work? No. Not interesting. Let's get the AC cranking. Does that work? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's get warm inside. Actually, it's. Yeah, let's keep it cool-ish inside the cockpit. Our ground speed is 272, so we are flying quite fast. So, I don't think there is actually an eye. Oh, but I don't think this is a hurricane, actually. But, you know, it was fun going through it. So, okay. As long as we're heading to that pink, I'm quite satisfied. I'll just alter my heading a bit to the right. Let's give it like 235. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight through those clouds. So yeah, as you can see, towards the east coast of Miami, it's pretty cool. Uh, weather's not too severe as compared to this region right here on the west coast of Miami but yeah here's blue skies and smooth sailing but this is what we're looking for so let's decrease the range uh, someone else is over there I wonder who that is let's go in external view can we see anyone yeah, the DS62 is still climbing actually. I never knew the DS62 could go that high. The 208 is there as well behind us. Look at that. I don't think they are flying except for like one or two out of those, that group, but it's sick. I'm quite curious about the C25C is. But look at this weather, guys. That is what we're going through. I mean, I think as a safety feature, aircraft should provide like harnesses or something in such situations. Oh, look, a small patch. Hello to the normal world. And then back to this. And a nice new patch as well over here, right up there. I mean, we could try to take this TBM off them, but I don't think that's as exciting as going straight through this. But like I said guys, do not try this at all. If you want a TBM 900, don't even try this. And even if you don't, don't try this with any other aircraft because it will is not safe. But yeah, this is flight sim. And that's one of the beauties about flight sim. You make the unrealistic and realistic on the comp. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this map. Can I can I move it? go down yes okay oh quite a bit of traffic over there but yeah we're going straight through this into the cloud let's get some rain on my inertial separator is still on I think I'll switch that off let's go with inertial separator off and let's see what we can find inside here this is the moment I've been waiting for ladies and gentlemen I do hope it lives up to my expectations oh my What's that? Talk is a bit right? What are we doing now? Yeah, over talking the aircraft. Very risky. So, uh, a bit turbulent, but not too bad. Wow. Visibility is completely oh rain. There we go. What a beauty. Oh, I'm still over talking my aircraft. Jeez, that's co oh wow. Uh, reduce the talk. I want to see what our winds are like. I just can't figure out how to, how do how to get that on here. Oh, sorry. No, this just this doesn't seem to work. Anyway, we literally cannot see. Oh.
look at that, the ocean below us. Yeah, a little bit of a clear bit over there, now back into clouds. So yeah, we still haven't caught up to this guy. I don't know where exactly he is, I don't know if I can, you can tell where he is, but I'm just gonna switch to normal position, just so we have a bit of a better view. Wow. Yeah, so quite a few people are flying in. Whoever's flying in, good luck flying through this. Obviously, if you're an airliner, it's easy stuff. No problem. I really am impressed with the weather. And this is even a max setting, this is on like high, custom high, I've switched off quite a bit. So I'm allowed to, oh wow, hello world. Look at that, bit of clear sky there. Patch of blue, a ray of hope. Ah, that's nice. That is quite nice. straight back through this cloud. Oh wow, that is so beautiful. Oh wow, this is so nice. Wow, I mean ladies and gentlemen, we have not found the eye of this storm, but Look at that for a view. And it is calm here. Wow. I quite like this. Look at the color. This is quite brilliant. This guy is at 37. What the hell? That, yeah, that, I really want to watch C25 series. But yeah, I guess, ladies and gentlemen, that is the storm. I mean, not really an exciting hurricane eye, but I mean, it was worth it. Look at that view. Wow, I'm pretty amazed. So yeah, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have, I mean, accomplished something today. We have chased two storms. Um, they probably are the same storm just spread out, but it's two. So, if you enjoyed that video guys, please do not forget to click the thumbs up button, click subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my latest videos. Um, I will be posting more of these videos. Um, I am still trying to figure out a few things. My next video will most probably be landing my 747 in uh, the challenging airstrips in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Um, if you've not seen my video on me trying to land a 747 in Nepal, I will leave that link in the Okay guys, it, it just seems that I can't record my video. I don't know why it's done that. But I'll, I'll, I guess, okay, that's the end of our video today. But yeah, like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to see my 747 video, I will leave it in the top right hand corner. And if you like those videos, I'm sure you'd like the other videos on my channel. Um, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I do thank you for watching this video. And I do hope you're keeping safe. And uh, yeah, I do hope the people who are affected by the hurricanes and all that 
and also the wildfires that are currently happening on the west coast of America. I do hope that all that ends soon and life returns back to normal. And for those who have been displaced, um, all we do hope that you get through that phase relatively quickly. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching the vlog and we will see you next time. Good night.